Hey, this is Crystal Jordan with Rolling Out, and you guys know I love having sister-to-sister -sister conversations, and I am excited because today's guest is back for the second time, yes. except this time she's here by herself. We, you know, we missed hubby, but we're okay with not having him because we just need to have a sister-to-sister -sister conversation. Sister -to -sister. Now, the last time you came, you know, I, I came bring grips, gifts. And I didn't have anything for hubby, but, you know, I had to come make sure that we had something to Aww, gift the woman of God again you. today. So, you know, just to start you it off. Do you want me to open this now? Of course. Why not? Thank you so much to our sponsors, Olive and Tony, that do a great job. That is from a new line of enchanted makeup brushes. All right. Okay, that's just to and make you know, sure that I you love stay everything sparkly. So I, of that's, course. Of course. You must have done some research. You gotta research, get to the, big, to the big thing. But so that's yes. just the makeup brushes to keep you. But this, of course, oh, sis, you know. Oh, you shouldn't have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know those days where we. Um, yes, absolutely. It, it doesn't even need to be. What's understood doesn't need to be said. This is everything. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I might have a half a <laughs> So what I love about this hat, and we're going to get into the sister to sister conversation is that, you know, sometimes you just want to put on some jeans and a T-shirt, but you just want to be a little bit fly. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just need to you need and to maybe jazz it up just a little you bit. You add a hat and some sunglasses and girl and a lip and a lip. You are in here. Wait a minute. Don't put on a stiletto now. You put on a stiletto and you just take and, and and she has a rock and she's here. <laughs> Welcome. OK. <laughs> Well, so, yeah, that's we, beautiful. We, yeah, that Thank is for you. that is just a little, just a little something to keep you, keep you ready like for this. everything that you have Thank going you, on. Thank you, sis. No, you didn't have to do that. Absolutely, no, no. Gotta no, come we, bearing gifts next time. <laughs> that's amazing. It's all good, all good. Well, like I said, we're gonna have a woman to woman conversation, and I'm excited because you are doing this. You're hosting the Relish Woman's Conference, April 18th through 21st. And when I heard the title Relish, I just thought. This must mean like to look to be luxurious, to sit back and to relax, to relish in an aura of sisterhood. That's right. Am I on the right track? You are. Okay. And just relish in being a woman. Absolutely. Authentically a woman. We wear so many hats. Mm -hmm. We have so many titles. Some of us are wives. Some of us are mothers. We're mm -hmm. sisters. We're caregivers. You know, you're educated. You might have prefixes and suffixes, but mm -hmm. who you are. Who are you right. when all of that is gone, when you're away. stripped down? Are you okay with who you are authentically mm -hmm. in your soul? Mm -hmm. Are you good? And it is just a holistic view of looking in on the inside, making right. sure the inside, making sure you've done the internal work. Mm -hmm. If you're a woman of faith, a woman of faith inside of business, mm -hmm. in your health, mm -hmm. in entrepreneurship, in parenting, mm -hmm. in wifedom, like uh, every aspect holistically, mm -hmm. are they equal? Because right. you know, I have I have friends and we talk, my sisters, mm -hmm. some of them amazing, mm -hmm. blazing it out here, mm -hmm. doing their thing mm -hmm. in one area. In one area. <laughs> or three. <laughs> right. But the other 17, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, I, and, and it's like, oh, well, I got it all here, yeah. so let me relish here. Right. But I want us to relish our entire souls, mm -hmm. our entire beings. Mm -hmm. And so when God gave me the name of the conference, that was what was on my heart. Yeah. I have to be honest. I have always beat myself up for thinking, okay, I got this under control, but I'm mm -hmm. lacking here. Mm -hmm. And man, what's wrong with me over here? And right. why can't I make, grab a hold of this? And why can't I take off running here? Mm -hmm. And God was just like, look, I'm good with you. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm good with you. And if you are, you and God are good, mm -hmm. all of the rest of the stuff is additives. It's going to work itself Because out. you can't do it for people. Right. Because people will change. And people, you know, we're fickle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're good with you today. Mm -hmm. And let one thing erupt and you don't like it. And mm -hmm. we have decided that you are canceled. <laughs> or at least we think right. that we can decide that. But, you know, people can't cancel you. If God is with you, mm -hmm. there's no cancellation. But I just want women to converge on Greenville, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. We have so many beautiful women who are experts in business, in health, mm -hmm. in finance, in entrepreneurship, and just it's every area being hit. Right. And of course, because I am a woman of faith, mm -hmm. it is layered with all things faith, all things God, all things infused with that aspect of soul care mm -hmm. and we're just relishing in that i love that i, love it. I look okay, forward wait. to relishing i want to relish in? as you well coming, I wanna, yeah, coming down oh, now. Come on. i absolutely want to come on down because you know i think 
I think that, you might have you to know, give you a microphone yeah. so you can interview some people. Girl, <laughs> you're I, at Relish. Yeah, let's, and, um, we talk we'll like about to see how you're feeling as you walked in. What, how is your soul? How, like, is, your how soul? is your soul? No, but that's a big thing because I think, you know, I'm doing a, um, a conversation with some women about this idea that we've been taught to be independent, right? Mm -hmm. And we know, that, we know that we have to deal with being independent and allowing our husbands or or men in our lives to be a part of that. But what about sisters, right? I think sometimes we don't want to even show our sisters our flaws mm -hmm. because we're afraid of being judged by them. Yeah. So how do, we, how do we work on becoming comfortable in our skin so that we can let our sisters see our flaws? I could say, Aventar, I'm not okay. Like, I'm just not okay right now. And I can, I can hold you, I can have faith to hold you in place as my sister to hear my vulnerability and not to judge me. Yeah, I think, um, at this conference that there is going to be a for sure time of reckoning mm -hmm. of mirror work mm -hmm. of, of actually introducing yourself yeah. to a version of you that you've never met because mm -hmm. you're living in authenticity instead mm -hmm. of living in woulda coulda shouldas right. and what will they say ifs mm -hmm. and what happens if I do that mm -hmm. what happens if you're actually just you right like I think that the blessing of God comes when you are exactly who he created you to be mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. nothing more nothing less mm -hmm. I believe in evolution mm -hmm. I believe in growth I don't believe in changing for people right because people change and we're all changing at different paces mm -hmm. because where I was even five months ago is yeah. not who I am now right. because it's continual soul work mm -hmm. and you should always be prioritizing you when you give women are always giving we're always trying to show up for this person and make mm -hmm. sure everyone else is okay and then you start resenting yeah. that you're not on the list of people that mm -hmm. you're serving. Mm -hmm. Serve you sis and it's okay and also nourish your soul as mm -hmm. you do it. We have to take a moment to relax, to bask in the glory mm -hmm. of how God sees you every single day of your life. Yeah. Makeup or not, mm -hmm. wig or not, mm -hmm. a few extra pounds or not. Right. Whatever, mm -hmm. wherever season, whatever mm -hmm. season you find yourself in, mm -hmm. that is where you need to be cool with. Because God right. knew you were going to be in that season. Yeah, That's a right. part of your story. Absolutely. And our church name just changed to I love was story. I going to ask you about that. <laughs> that, was, that was one of my next questions because yes. it, you're changing from relentless, mm -hmm. which was relentless. Oh, my God. To, <laughs> to love story, which I, I want to believe and assume that that has something to do with the leadership of the church. Yeah. The story there. Well, you know what? To be honest, um, we never saw ourselves pastoring. Mm -hmm. um, my husband answered a calling. I answered a, a proposal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you took on the church when you said yes. Yes. Okay. okay. But then I realized as you grow, um, there are many pastors. There are people who pastor as they grow and mm -hmm. as they live. You know, I had, um, I created my first little dance ministry when I was 14 years old and I was teaching six, seven and eight year olds dance. Mm -hmm. You know, I was pastoring then mm -hmm. I was pastoring and and mentorship when I was in college like I was doing that mm -hmm. so without the title or not or mm -hmm. what people perceive as pastoring I've been doing that and been mm -hmm. doing the work and evolving in it um with a love story though we talked about if God ever called us to pastor and I was pregnant with my son who is now 12 okay he will be 12 in a couple of days um and he was like, God gave me a name for a church here in Atlanta. And if we ever start a church, mm -hmm. we're going to call it Love Story. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I love that. That's beautiful. Yeah. Now, mind you, this was years ago. Mm -hmm. So when we got the call to, to go and take over a church that was already functioning, he said that he heard the Lord. And the Lord said, you were relentless. Mm -hmm. He was relentless, mm -hmm. as in my husband. Okay. And so he thought that that was what God was calling him to. And we've definitely had to live up to that. But mm -hmm. I also think that there was a chapter and a season for that. Right. And so now we have closed that chapter mm -hmm. and we have entered into uh, what love story is. Mm -hmm. And those missions and visions and values now align with where we've had to evolve to go. Okay. And I thank God for that. It was necessary, painful, 
humiliating at times. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. I think that it's beautiful yeah. because I don't have to pretend. You get to see it all. You get to see, see the truth. The highs, the lows, right. the ebbs and the flows because mm -hmm. we all have them. Right. And that's the part. Every if if you meet a perfect person, let me know because it's Jesus and that's right. it. Um, people will put on for the city. Mm -hmm. I'm not her. <laughs> I decided that I'm going to be cool with me. There'll be people who who are great with you and there will be right. people who will never like you. You can't convince them. Mm -hmm. You can't change their minds. Mm -hmm. So you be for who rocks with you. Right. And, and, and then and, and everything else. Seeds. Yeah. Yeah. And just live and be a great, authentically genuine person. Right. And that's who I've decided I'm going to be. It's so much freedom there. Mm -hmm. I had to grow to it, though, mm -hmm. sis. So and, and it, it could be still growing. I, I you know, it's interesting because I heard you. I heard um, a snippet of you talking about like what it means as a woman to be to, to what is the commitment of marriage what is the vow of marriage right mm -hmm. and i am a person that has been divorced and is now married again and i think you know as a as a grown woman this time yeah i'm understanding that there's a lot that we don't understand about being a wife yeah. so when i see someone like michelle obama who has what you know to us looks like a successful marriage acknowledge that there were times in her marriage that but were she hard. can stand them and then the response from people was like, oh, that's a failure. And I'm like, who are people, what are people thinking it takes to, there is no such love story without pain, without falling apart, without falling out of love, falling in and out of love. What do you, why do you think people have this idea that marriage should either be convenient, it should be all the way I want it, or I should be out and off to the next one? I think that people don't want to do the work. You, mm. you choose each other mm -hmm. you ask for God to bless it you make a commitment to him on their behalf mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to speak about at relish we have a dedicated segment mm -hmm. on you know parenting you know being a wife mm -hmm. um, God gave me a few years back and I'm going to now authentically step into it I did one one talk mm -hmm. on word to the wives okay. God gave that to me mm -hmm. I've you know done the treatment copyright all of that mm -hmm. kind of stuff word to the wives mm -hmm. god gave that to me i did one okay and then i went through hell right and then i didn't feel qualified right. to speak i think i have a lot of wisdom because mm -hmm. i've missed it i have a lot of wisdom because i stayed with someone who's missed it mm -hmm. a few times mm -hmm. you you are marrying a person that so i've been with me mm -hmm. all my life mm -hmm. i thought i was great mm -hmm. <laughs> then you are, you know, yeah. head to head with a person and mm -hmm. then there's that mirror. Mm -hmm. So I think that there are some things about me that only would have been realized had I married my husband mm -hmm. and vice versa. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, when you're growing and you're you're going to college and you're dating and everything, you can think I'm, I'm amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm a catch. I'm mm -hmm. this. I'm that. And your girlfriends will not <laughs> tell you the truth. Because they are all saying, girl, you are per, it's nothing wrong with you. It's him, it's him, it's, it's him. No, it's us. It's and that's us. the thing. It's <laughs> us. You you might see this about him, but mm -hmm. it's, it's a slew of things about me. And that's mm -hmm. not taking blame. That's right. sharing. Right. It's, it's a cohesive effort mm -hmm. of growing and becoming one. You don't mm -hmm. become at the altar. You right. become through the course of the marriage, whatever your staying power sis is listening. You had to go. I mm -hmm. understand. I might have to go at some point. Mm -hmm. I thought about going and did go. Mm -hmm. The point of the matter is, is that I was in tune with God. Mm -hmm. I was in tune with what I could take. So this right. is me. Right. You and I are not the same. Right. So at my breaking point or at my barrier or at my boundary, mm -hmm. then there may be another decision until right. then, because you don't know the ins and outs mm -hmm. of my marriage, you're mm -hmm. on the outside looking in, mm -hmm. I can authentically stand in my truth right. and be good with where I am right. and be fine with who cares about it or who doesn't like it or who does. Mm -hmm. But at, at Relish Conference, in that segment, we're mm -hmm. going to go the distance mm -hmm. about that. Yeah. You will have some women who are on their second marriage mm -hmm. or you will have some women who fought it out mm -hmm. or waited it out or wanted to see mm -hmm. what God had. Right after mm -hmm. you know what's the aftermath mm -hmm. or after this what so that's what we're doing well i can tell you this from a person that has you know and again not taking responsibility for what happened to me but whatever you leave with you take with you so if you <laughs> well sis listen there are two people in a marriage okay <laughs> and 
there's a common denominator mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. in relationships. I think about past relationships. I think about, wow, I could have been different here. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, man, that was a mess. Mm -hmm. Or why did I put up with this here but not that here? Right. Listen, it was all God ordained, mm -hmm. his timing, whatever. But you can leave like uh, what people say about churches. Mm -hmm. Oh, th I'm church heard and this honey, mm -hmm. wherever you go, you're there. You're there. Which means it became imperfect <laughs> or was already imperfect and you're there. So you're right. imperfect. We're all just trying to figure it out and mm -hmm. it is okay. Yeah. And it's yeah. okay to just be good with wherever you are. Right. Growing, learning at your boundary, at mm -hmm. your limit, at your pace. Mm -hmm. And so nothing about the people who decided to leave. That was for you, boo. You had to go. Right. You know, and the ones that decide to stay. I don't condone you staying in abusive relationships. I don't condone you, you know, being depressed and down and out or whatever. People are mentally unstable. They are. There are so many that are mentally yeah. unstable. And you got to deal with that. Mm -hmm. We're doing that at Relish. Mm -hmm. Women in health. Women in mental, mental health. health yeah. And um, I also think that the school system mm -hmm. also needs to curate curriculum around children who are coming to school acting out not just put them in another class but deal with right. why yeah. not that they are acting out but why are they acting out so it's a lot so it, it is a it is a it's a lot that's you a, got that's these people lot. growing up marrying other mentally unstable people you understand what i'm saying and so we just have a mentally unstable <laughs> baby i Everybody, mean i mean it, it just it keeps just, going we are you have to nourish your soul this. and you have to be truthful mm -hmm. and when you start from truth yeah that's where god can do the work yeah that's what we're we're going to be doing at Relish. That's what I'm excited about. That's every entertainer that's coming, mm -hmm. all of my sisters who are a part of, you know, what you see and you like them and they're on TV or they're mm -hmm. in movies have a story right. about where they didn't feel worthy. Mm -hmm. They didn't feel good enough. They didn't feel pretty enough. They mm -hmm. didn't feel like, you know, it was their time or what is God saying? Cause I wasn't chosen mm -hmm. and all of this kind of stuff. Everybody you think has it going on, right. doesn't have it going on in some area. Or We're all in this somewhere. big hodgepodge together, right? So let's just be real with who mm -hmm. we are and enjoy being there right. and enjoy growing right. to understand who we are and relish. And relish. And being a and woman. Being, and authentically. And <laughs> period. <laughs> Well, definitely, we want women to check that out. I just want to ask you one last question. I know we've got to, you've got to go. My last question is: you have you've handpicked women that are close friends of yours, and also that are ministers, and are looking forward to really pouring into women that come there. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give to women that are coming as they prepare to come? Like, because I know sometimes you go into a room full of women, and everyone is so. Everyone is made up. I mean, hair done, makeup done, nails done, everything did. You know what I mean? And we are putting up a front for each other. How, what, how do you want women to come into that space? I want you to come naked in the spirit, mm -hmm. just ready to just be who you actually are. Mm -hmm. And it's okay if you have a hair or two out of place. <laughs> it's okay if a few of your lashes are missing because baby, I have a strip on right now because mm -hmm. some of mine are gone. <laughs> they left the other week and I have not had the time, woman, busy woman, Proverbs 31 woman, handling mm -hmm. everybody else's business to prioritize me. But when right. I do prioritize me, I You'll go get the back distance. to those lashes. Exactly. Yeah. And get if back. I do have three lashes for relish then you would come up sister tell me about your business and put some on me that's what you're supposed to do you know so girl yes. listen i'm and the excited words of Viola, i am not my i am not my sister's keeper i am my sister so yeah. as opposed to pointing out my flaws sis help me through them help me through help them. me through because em. where i'm strong in one aspect you may not be mm -hmm. and where you are i may need your help in that vein and that is what the conference is about i'm excited yeah. i'm excited right. well, we gotta definitely let people know where they can find out more about Relish and then also more about Love Story. The yes. church as you guys are transitioning, let people know where they can find out information. So relishconference.com is the website. Everything you need is there, how you can reserve your space, what to look forward to, who's coming. We have a lot of surprises for the women who do attend. Mm -hmm. Those are things that you just have to be there for. There mm -hmm. will be some lifelong connections made. You might need a service that some of the people who are coming are offering, mm -hmm. and you might get that for free because you're in the right place at the right time. 
Um, we're going to have an amazing time. So it's relishconference.com okay. for everything April 18th through the 21st. Greenville, South Carolina, because there is a Greenville, <laughs> North Carolina, but we're in South oh, wow, Cackalack. Greenville, South Carolina, and lovestorychurch.com. Okay. And if you forget and you put ourrelentlesschurch.com for a while, that will work for you, you and it over. will take you where you need to go because okay. as you're evolving, people have to, might identify you, come on, Holy Ghost, <laughs> by what you were, mm. but then when you plug into who you were, it'll take you to where you're destined to, you're to be. Uh-huh. How about that? that? Well, can I say thank you, Aventur, for coming Thank you for by. having me, beautiful. And thank you for being willing to share so much of your life with the with the people that are followers the people that are watching and may not be necessarily tapped in but are watching from from afar and are really learning and being able to have a deeper understanding of what a true love story is mm -hmm. through your example i think that a lot of times they're looking for perfection it's but when there. people are willing to allow us to see their imperfection is when they allow us to see them grow, which allows us to grow. So mm -hmm. I thank you for doing that. I thank you for your heart. And I thank you for hanging out here with us at Rolling thank Out. Thank you for having me. I love Rolling Out, honey. Thank love you. it. So well, we much. have to have her come back. Maybe she could come back with the hubby next time so we can get into the love story. Child, y'all can have him <laughs> if you want to. He'll thank come. You. He'll be ready to talk. We know he likes to talk, as they all do. But thank you guys for <laughs> watching. This has been Crystal Jordan with a sister-to-sister -sister conversation here on Rolling Out. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.